here's an RCA XL100 9 inch color TV that will run on either 120 volts AC household current or 12 volts DC with the optional cigarette lighter plug. Now there's an interesting story about this TV. I have a friend that sells used merchandise and whatnot, and he sells a lot of used TVs. He can't get much for these older CRT type sets anymore, but he can still sell them at the price is right. Well, anyway, he brought me this TV for repair, and all it needed was the 300 to 75 ohm matching transformer on the on the back of the set replaced, and it worked fine. And he takes it up to his little shop, and he sells it to some people for. I think 15 bucks. Well, a couple hours later, she's bringing it back, claiming her husband wouldn't let her have the TV because they were going to put it in the kids' room, and since the TV wasn't remote controlled, that the kids would be too lazy to get up and turn it on and off, and therefore they would leave it on all night long. So she brings it back, wanting her $15 back. And I'm thinking to myself, if I had kids, I would just tell them, now look, this TV doesn't have a remote, and you're going to have to get off your fanny and, and turn it on and off and change the channels. And I better not come in here and find it on in the middle of the night or at any time when you're not in the room, or else you're going to be without a TV. So, okay, he took it back, gave them their money back, and then last Saturday he sold it again. People brought it back, same deal. Didn't want it because it didn't have, couldn't, you couldn't put a remote with it. I mean, what's so hard for these idiots to understand? I mean, you're ba you bought a freaking $15 used TV at a flea market. What the hell do you expect? I mean, there's been times I've given $15 for TVs that didn't even work. Of course, that was back when they were worth more money. And I told my friend, I said, you really need to be more forceful with these people and, and tell them when they come bringing something back like that. And just tell them, look, you bought a used TV. This is not Walmart. You should have looked at it before you bought it to make sure it's what you wanted. So I'm sorry for you, but it's your TV. But anyway, I'll turn it on and let you see how it operates. I just told him, I said, I said, bring the thing by here. I'll buy the thing from you and keep it here myself. I said, I said, don't worry about those idiots. It looks a lot better in person than it did than it does on the camera. This is kind of an unusual set. It tuned by, well, I will show you how it tunes. You have a VHF and UHF switch, channel up and down. And when you push the channel up, you can see a green bar stands for channels. And then when it finds a channel, it locks on it. Assuming we had any UHF channels, there it is on UHF. You see a red bar. And since we don't have any UHF, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna lock in on anything. It's just gonna keep scanning. So back to VHF. You've got a channel recall button that you can press, and it'll show you what channel you're on. That I can't even, I can't get through. And you're both smiling, sitting, but George to from them every weekend. For some reason, the RF output on this cable box is a little grainy. It's really not that noticeable on a broadcast, but on a blank raster you can notice it. Yeah, 
very much. Now, I'm the show, but no, they, they really they really did a great job with her, and she's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I was so excited that she's on. VHF <laughs> rod antenna, which you no longer need. Here's the carry handle. Great. So funny. And Patty Duke. Who's the name? Oh. Yeah, Patty Duke from... And one thing they messed up on it, when he brought it to me the first time, it had a little plastic slatted speaker grill. That somehow became missing between the first time I saw this and the and today. Okay, and here's the back of the set. So yeah. Since apparently everybody in 2012 is too lazy to get off their butt and change the channel and, you know, thinks a $15 TV ought to, ought to be a top-of-the-line television, then, then shoot, I'll just keep the thing here and keep it as a spare TV or whatever. But anyway, thanks for watching. More to come later.